21 Secrets for Perfect, Healthy, and Clean Skin in One Week 21 Tips and Tricks to Have Perfectly Healthy and Clean Skin That You Didn't Know About The skin is the largest organ in your body and at the same time the most exposed. Its duty is to protect the rest of the organs that make us up, and it is an arduous task because it is a shield but not iron, although iron also rusts. Because it is the part of the body that covers us in its entirety, it faces various conditions on a daily basis that affect its structure, like climate change, pollution, the dust of the streets, the sun, the rubbing of the clothes, and not enough with everything that can affect it externally. Your health is also affected by the food and drinks we ingest, which makes you feel and look weakened and aged. Below, we will see 21 care tricks that will allow you to have healthy and beautiful skin. Before we dive in, remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on subtitle notifications to stay up to date with our updates. Number 1, Your Skin Type An important aspect of skin health care is to identify what type of skin you have. If it is dry, oily, or a combination, it is not only about facial skin but about the whole body. Only in this way can you offer adequate care. For oily skin, the ideal is to use hygiene products that do not completely eliminate natural fat. When you use very abrasive products that radically eliminate fat, you are only making your skin feel attacked and torn from its protective shield, and is forced to produce more oil which then generates an overactivity of the sebaceous glands and can generate a production that goes greater, increasing the problem instead of solving it. Dry skin requires moisturizing application of cosmetic products and masks that allow it to maintain moisture for longer but without saturating the skin, since if you add more and more layers of moisture what you can generate is that the pores of the skin become clogged and then those annoying pimples appear. Mixed skin also has its magic and its special form of care. For them, it is best to subtitle. Use products that do not affect the normal pH of the skin and that also offer a stabilizing. If you use products for oily skin, it increases oiliness in one area and dryness in another, and the same thing happens with dry skin products. The best is to use a neutral soap and apply hydration techniques according to the area of the skin. For example, honey masks can help you hydrate without exaggerating their effect and the exfoliation will allow you to free the pores by reducing sebaceous production. Number 2. Clean your skin twice each time. If you thought that with washing your face or your body once was enough, you are making a mistake. The skin must be cleaned twice so that they can really remove not only the makeup in the case of the face but the dust, smog, grease and sweat. In the first cleaning, the major dirt is always removed, the layer of makeup, the sunscreen, but a second wash guarantees that the sweat adhered to the natural fat of the skin also disappears and that the pores remain open to receive the moisturizing treatment that you apply afterwards. The ideal is to start with an oil-based cleanser and then do a second step with a water-based cleanser, and of course remove everything later with warm water. Number 3. Take care of the sun. The ultraviolet rays of the sun can be very harmful to the skin, especially in prolonged exposure. Although they are a source of vitamin D which allows the absorption of calcium by the bone structure, they can also cause spots on the skin, burns and cancer. The ideal is to use a sunscreen of 50s FB that provides you with long sun exposure care, but always making sure that your exposure is not prolonged and that you do not leave all the work to the sunscreen. Sunscreen reinforces its action by wearing long-sleeved clothing hats, and sunglasses. Never forget to protect your lips with sunscreen lipstick. Constant exposure to ultraviolet rays destroys collagen in the skin, which accelerates the appearance of wrinkles and spots. Number 4. Exfoliating your skin. Exfoliating the skin on a weekly basis is necessary to remove the impurities that are embedded in the pores and that can cause their obstruction and inflammation. They also allow the removal of dead skin that we are releasing and that remains stuck to the body by the same natural fat that we have when your skin is not exfoliated. Dead cells and dirt adhere to the skin, making it always look dull and greasy at the same time, which can even contribute to the proliferation of pimples on face, back, and arms. Exfoliate your skin with natural products or cosmetics that suit your skin type. Try to do it at least once a week and at night or at a time when you don't need to be exposed to the sun and then apply moisturizing lotion. Number 5 don't know what your skin is. When you take a shower or wash your face, the next action is to dry yourself, 
and most people do it is touching the towel on the skin. The ideal is that instead of rubbing with the towel, remove only the excess water and allow the skin to retain its moisture by applying your lotion or moisturizer once. Number 6. Apply Face Masks Face masks are a refreshing and delicious option to clean and hydrate the skin, and you can find at a commercial or cosmetic level. There are an infinite variety of masks that will allow you to keep your face free of impurities while hydrating it. You can also prepare homemade masks with honey, olive oil, coffee, oats, and other ingredients that allow you to maintain moisture and eliminate dirt. The best thing is that by contributing to moisturizing the skin, they prevent it from cracking or cells break down making your complexion look aged. Number 7. Hydrate your skin. To have moisturized skin, it is essential to hydrate it as well as every part of your body. The hydration of your skin begins by drinking water so that it can stay between the cells and thus ensure moisture. But you can also reinforce the action of water on your skin using cosmetic products that allow you to retain moisture such as body creams, facial masks and even applying a mist of rose water before your makeup. It is also good to drink plenty of water and maintain a state of hydration suitable for the body. Since the internal layers of the skin do not benefit from creams, apply cosmetic products in order. When you use your body and face hydration products you must maintain their order for their application as otherwise, they will lose the effect. The first thing to do is apply the facial cleansing products and then remove them. If necessary, apply an exfoliation or facial mask depending on whether you want to deep clean or hydrate or both. Then continue with a toner to finish removing impurities and apply an essence that refreshes your face and prepares it for the next step, which would be the application of your eye cream and your moisturizer. And then you can apply some special oil for the face that acts as a sealing layer and protects it from dirt and then continue with your makeup or get ready to rest. Number 9. Do not use expired products. It may be silly to you, and you think that those dates expiration dates are not real but, using expired products can cause an allergic reaction on the skin generating eczema, irritation, acne and even penetrating through the mucous membranes such as the nose or entering the eyes and causing severe allergies so better do not risk it and throw it away. Number 10. Take care of your neck as well as your face. Your neck also deserves care and is often the most forgotten part of your body. You should not forget to clean it as well and apply special moisturizing creams. Number 11. Change your care regimen with the passing of the seasons. Each season makes its own demands on your skin. Using the same products all year round is a mistake. In winter, for example, humidity, cold, and the constant use of hot water. This can cause your skin to lose moisture and look rough and dry, so you should double your efforts to hydrate it. But in summer, for example, the same does not happen since you will feel the sensation of having more oil on your skin, which will make you want to remove it and, therefore, for this, you should use soaps that are not so abrasive and reduce the amount of moisturizing products that you use. Number 12. Do not use antibacterial soaps. Antibacterial soaps have an alkaline pH that completely alters the natural pH of the skin. They are also made up of triclosan and triple carbon, two chemical compounds with a very strong action that, although they can reduce the amount of bacteria in the body, at the same time, this type of chemical has the ability to penetrate the skin and reach the bloodstream, affecting hormonal levels. Another important factor is that this type of soap alters the acidic pH of the skin since they are alkaline, which is why some germs can be reduced, but other types of bacteria can be grown stronger and reproduce what can cause infections. The healthiest thing for the skin is to use soaps with a neutral pH. Number 13. Don't squeeze acne pimples. People often squeeze pimples or blackheads in an attempt to quickly reduce acne breakouts and alleviate the pain that some produce. However, this is an error since it can generate wound infection thanks to the dirt that accumulates around and even on the pimple itself. No matter how much you think you have cleaned the area by popping a pimple with your fingers, you expose yourself to contamination and at the same time to generate a greater wound that can create a hole and even leave a mark or scar. Number 14. Use a double pillow. If you have the tendency to have bags under the eyes or waking up with swollen eyes, this is due to increased fluid retention in your upper body when you sleep. To improve this, use double pillows to sleep so that fluid does not accumulate in the eye area, and it can flow down. Number 15. Check your makeup items. The cosmetics and brushes you use to put on your makeup can become a breeding ground for different types of germs that your eyes cannot see and that can end up affecting the health of your eyes or even your skin. So regularly clean your brushes, pay attention to your cosmetics, check their texture to check if they are damp or moldy. Number 16. 
Do not fear retinol. Retinol is a derivative of vitamin A which is used to renew the skin through cell renewal. It also improves hyperpigmentation that causes blemishes on the face. It is recommended its use on a prescription basis in order to have control over some adverse effects. However, in pharmacies you can find some over-the-counter products that have a better retinol content, so you can use it with peace of mind. Number 17, keep your age in mind. Skin will change as we age and care will not be the same for each age, so you should give your skin the care that it really deserves. For example, young skin may only require hydration, while older skin may also need collagen support and other nutrients. Number 18, Understand your skin according to your hormonal cycle. Women experience different hormonal changes throughout their menstrual period, which is why at some times they are more prone to acne and at others to look more inflamed. So you must first understand how your skin works at each stage of your cycle and provide the necessary care. Number 19, exercise. Exercise is also very beneficial for the skin since it improves blood circulation and therefore oxygenation. And something vital for good skin health is to have good oxygenation, as this helps prevent cell death. On the other hand, exercise helps combat the cellulite and tones the muscles, making your skin look smoother and younger. Number 20, sleep. Sleep is also essential for skin health. In fact, sleeping 8 hours a day helps the body to renew the skin itself, so it also improves its cellular condition. People who maintain a good sleep rhythm also enjoy smoother skin without dark circles and bags under the eyes. Number 21, take care of your diet. Everything you eat is reflected in your skin. It is inevitable that the skin shows your eating habits. Acne, cellulite, rashes are some of the lesions that your skin can present when you eat foods with high fatty and sugar or carbohydrate contents. We hope that this video was helpful. If you have anything to add, please share IT with us in the comments. Like this video and send the link to your family and your best friends, so they subtitle. Also know about how to take care of their skin. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe.